In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 155, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. This week I spent a lot of time addressing crash logs again, with technical fixes like making a more stable arrangement for models in RAM, and more social fixes like reminding laptop users to switch from integrated graphics to discrete graphics if they have dual graphics cards. I also added a couple features to the map editor. First, now you can control the distribution of detail objects using weight maps. This gives a lot more control over the placement of grass and other procedural details. Here I made a square of grass just to make sure it's working, and then made it glow white to see it better. Second, I enabled object mirroring using the scale tool. This allows you to flip objects by just scaling them a negative amount along a single axis. This kind of mirroring is useful for symmetrical structures and for adding more variety in general. One last thing I'm working on is making the shaders more modular. Right now each shader variation has its own file with a lot of duplicated code. I'm experimenting with using the Wave preprocessor to divide the shaders into modular macros so that each shader variation uses the same base code. This way I can just change one file and it should affect every variation. For example, I could make everything shiny by only using the specular component. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfire.